Mick Howderson to my Instagram family. Howdy Mick Howderson. Is that even? All right. I'm going to do uh, a House of the Rising Sun with a little bit of a trick in the middle. I 
you, my man. Just for you. Welcome, Instagram. How's everybody doing? Uh, but we've been live over on Facebook for a bit because it's my my brother was painting uh, Stephen Green art. If you check it out, you'll see what he painted. I'm sure he'll post it. What's for what's up, Veronica Fran Franson eighty one? Veronica, howdy. Vanda is here, and and Chibol is here. Hi, everybody. Bettina just posted over on uh, Facebook the link, but if you go in my bio, you'll be able to get it. Linda's doing fine now. Good. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You're only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Well, take these sunken eyes and learn to see. How's everybody doing? Thanks so much for stopping by. This is gonna be a short concert for my, we've been going for an hour and 40 minutes almost over on Facebook and Zoom. But I figured I would stop by. Oh, Tracy, I'll do No Hard Feelings. Tracy wants No Hard Feelings. I got it. I'm, I love this song so much. We're gonna do it right now just for you. Woo! Okay, check out the lyrics. Let the lyrics of the song. bathe over you, okay? Let this, and, and think of somebody also that you can forgive with this song. It's kind of like Let It Go, this song, in a way. Uh, not really, but the, the lyrics are that healing, I think. I did not write the song. This is the Avid Brothers. And there's a, there's a documentary out there called uh, May It Last. And Rick Rubin's involved in it. And it's pretty... Pretty st it's a stunning piece of film, too, and it's a Judd Apatow thing. Steady, but I lay 
down my fears, my hopes and my doubts, the rings on my fingers and the keys to my house with no
That's the Avid Brothers. That's one of my favorite songs. Thank you for requesting that song. It's so fun to play it too. It's just like the, the where it is on the thing. Wow, so many people are giving badges on there. Thank you so much on Instagram. And thank you all so much for the stars on Facebook. Look up PR Ministries. It's called Pursuing Relationships. It's a, the Guido family who've been a part of my life for 20 plus years. Yeah, you know, you can let hard feelings run your life, right? You, you, can, you can have your whole life be a victim to a feeling of a story that you made up about something that happened in the past that if enough people looked at it, there's at least more than one perspective, right? So there's a chance that the story you made up about it is wrong. At least a chance. So if you just preempt the whole thing and give up your right to be right, even though you know you're right, then you can have some love and connection, right? Why don't I do Let It Go? Why not? So think of somebody you can forgive. I'm gonna sing Let It Go. Uh, find a person right now that you have been holding a grudge against and let's let it go together, shall we? If, if uh, no hard feelings didn't get, get you there, this might. play a little bit of uh, play along with you, myself let me play along with myself eh? hang on, hold the phone hold the phone hold the harmonica is this D maybe my eyes just keep getting better and better with age it's amazing you think they'd get worse wooden things with what my D looks so much newer. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is on my record, for, uh, Freedom for Your Soul. I think this is my last song, ish, probably, yeah. Y'all got somebody to forgive? Let these lyrics take you there. Um, let's do it. I've seen your face It's taken me some time to find my place Had some troubles trust in love I was waiting for some help from above From time to time Our story went around I left out the parts that would burn the whole house down Just when life was starting to make sense I tore down a wall, built a fence Let it go, 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 go Freedom for your soul Let it go
made you wrong Well, I made you pay I could have done this till my dying days But now I know I can set you free I can let it go I can let it be some some specificity to it. I can hit individual notes for some reason with this one. They're not always quite like that. You're gonna get a message from me on Instagram that says, thanks for coming, would you like a free song? It's just an offering that if you want to download Harvest Moon, it also gets you connected to my text list and my uh, email list. So it's not spam. Do be careful though. Listen, if somebody reaches out to you anywhere and it doesn't have a blue check or they don't have a lot of followers or they're private or something, it's not me. I'm never gonna reach out to you and say, hi, give me, like I'm lost in you know, South Africa and I can't get my way home or something. I'm not gonna ask you to fly me anywhere or do anything like that. So just be careful. I know it's exciting to get a message from, from one of us, but it's not, it doesn't happen. It's just somebody scamming and there's so many fake accounts. It's just brutal. So look for a blue check. I don't think I have a blue check yet on Facebook or something for some weird reason or TikTok yet. Uh, or you, I don't even think I do on YouTube yet, but I don't, but anyway, you're going to get a message from me that says, hi, hope you enjoyed the concert and you can ignore it or just say yes. If you did, you'll get an email or something like that uh, and a free song. So I'm going to end with three wooden crosses, everybody, then I got to go uh, work. This is play and that's play too. I'm so lucky that the two things, hello, Julie Boro. I'm so fortunate and grateful that the two things I spend the most time doing, really the three things, family, I really love my family and I spend a good amount of time, especially this last year or two, I spent most of my time at home. Now I'm on the road and it's a little bit different, uh, but I do love my creative kind of alone time that I have. And, as, and I miss my family a great deal. The other things that I love, I love acting, I love making music. So the three things that I spend the most time doing, and I love going to the gym. So some of you might think I'm lucky uh, to do what I love. But all along my 45, plus uh, my, my 45 uh, plus years on this planet, I've made decisions along the way to, to do things that I enjoy in work-wise, right? And some of you are in jobs that you just hate. And I wanna offer you a hope that there is there is a way for you to do, do something that really makes your heart happy. The only, as far as we know, you get one crack at this. So if you're miserable in your relationship or you're miserable in your job, 
change it. Do something else. It's insanity. You're not gonna just, I mean, or look for things there that will make you, that you can be grateful for, right? But do what you love. Like, you never know if it's your last week on earth, your last day, or, and, and, you know, and if, and if changing your job doesn't feel like it's possible, then just create some kind of a goal list or a vision board of, and get clear on what you would do for no money or no praise. What is that? And, I, and some people will think I'm living in a dream world that you can live, do what you love and you can love what you do. And I just want to create for you the possibility of doing something awesome. So that short time between the dashes on your tombstone, you'll know that that dash there was worth something. That you weren't just living your life as a means to an end, or just living for the weekends. A farmer and a teacher, a hooker and a preacher, riding on a midnight bus. Mexico. One was headed for vacation, one for higher education. Two of them were searching for lost souls. But the driver never ever saw the stop sign. Eighteen wheelers can't stop on a dime. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows. I guess it's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. The farmer left harvest and a home of 80 acres feeding the love for growing things in his young son's heart and that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children did her best to give them all a better start That preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land? As he laid that blood-stained Bible in that hooker's hand. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why, there's not four of them, heaven only knows. It's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. Well, that's the story that our preacher told last Sunday. As he held that blood-stained Bible up for all of us to see He said, bless the farmer and the teacher and the preacher Gave this Bible to my mama now who read it to me Side 
so much for stopping by um once again you will get a message if you're on instagram if you're on facebook um i am here in vancouver shooting a christmas film with amanda glutes and i just got a message that it looks like we're going live on her instagram later to talk about things which could be really super super fun just just check out her instagram i don't know what time i think somebody just messaged me and said hey did you know amanda said that uh uh, we're going live, and I don't know if that's true. I just got a message of it. So actually, it came across here. So um, stay tuned, I guess. It's gonna. I'm going over there soon. So probably between three and five, we'll try to give you a heads up. So you're not just turn on your notifications, I guess, for a minute if that doesn't annoy you. Thank you so much, everybody here on Zoom, all my Wolfie Pack and my Patreon community. I just really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna quickly say goodbye to you. Just let me hang up the Facebook. Uh, thank you, Facebook for being here and for all the stars for PR Ministry. Please check out PR Ministry, the Guido family. They're amazing. They do really great work with artists. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will appreciate them. And I'm raising money for them this month with just stars over on Facebook. And okay, Shirley Resnick, thank you. Thank you, Marilyn, Susie Overhaul, George Garcia. We love, I love you back. Uh, Day Amy, big fan of yours. No gym? I already went to the gym, Marcy. Uh, thank you. Oh, I didn't finish my thing. I'm so grateful for my jobs in the gym and my, um, my incredible family. And I love, you know, when you change your perspective on going to the gym and think of it as a privilege that you can move your body and enjoy the feeling of blood and energy and vitality coursing through your veins, then even going to the gym can become... Like a, a, a like a worship or an act of gratitude or even just like a, a, just you could be present to how good it feels to be able to move. Some people can't, and if you sit still long enough, you won't be able to. So g drink your water, get your sleep, and move that booty. Okay, do it, do it. All right, goodbye. We'll see you later, uh, Facebook family. Thanks so much for all your uh, shares. I see you guys have shared. Uh, a bunch so thank you so much I'm going to hang up now on uh, Facebook stop launching bye guys see ya okay that's done see you later grammars we'll see you I guess on uh, my co-stars Amanda Klutz live maybe I guess I saw that as a comment so I'm not sure and you'll get a message don't be freaked out it's just uh, my AI robots that I hired that will send you a message that says, did you like the song? And if you liked it, say yes, and then you'll get an email or you'll get joined. You'll get the, you'll get the song and then you can join my email and text service. Uh, but if it's other th anything other than that, it's not me reaching out to you. Please don't send money to anybody ever like that saying, let's talk on Google chat or let's like, here's a money gram or whatever. You'll know, you just gotta use your head. People like me aren't going to be asking you for cash unless it's to help raise money for something or like a membership or something. But just be careful, okay? Okay. Bye, Grammars. See you soon. Bye.